Okay, back in the booth for, uh, this is a race to seven on the one loss side. Uh, loser of this is in fifth, sixth place. And the uh, winner is guaranteed fourth money. And uh, the two contestants are gonna be uh, Matt Craw from, from Delaware. Uh, Sponsored on one, one tour by Predator. And uh, and hustling. And Kamui. His opponent is Mr. Brian Bryant from uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. Real good break the shot from Craw, and he has a, a real, real nice opportunity up ahead of him here with a nice opening on the one. Should lay natural to go to the four pretty well. My name is George Hammerbacher, voice of the Action Pool Tour. And advanced level instructor, professional billiard instructor association out of Baltimore, Maryland. And the Voice of the Action Tour, this is seven years now. And uh, we have six players remaining. That one was mishit, it looked like. And he's up against the Got to play the five in the side pocket, probably. And missed it. Okay. Brian Bryan is coming off of a, a seven to four loss to the uh, ladies uh, professional tour member, Christina Chalk from Russia, a tremendous player. Brian started to get his sea legs in the, in the middle of the match, but he fell a little short. Now he's got to gear it up and, and get back. He's a gritty guy. And uh, that's rock solid there. That's a good, good shot. Perfect line. Just shooting a stop right there for the seven in the side. Player's choice, you can either roll forward or, or nip the ball a little bit and play for the eight in the top right corner. He can do either what he likes. Runs into the eight. It might be kind of straight in on it, but he's still ought to be in pretty good shape. That's a good solid shot there. Brian Bryant uh, takes care of that and uh, takes a one to nothing lead off of Mr. Craw who broke well and uh, miss hit, a, miss hit a, uh, the first shot and got out of line and Brian, Brian charged him for it as he's well he should at this level. These guys are, are high level players. These are very few surprises in this final six. Uh, his good friend uh, and road partner, also from Lynchburg, uh, Scott Roberts, is on an adjacent table playing against Sean Wilkie. 
in another loser side match. Last night, Brian since got there with uh, a victory to the one loss side and, and if, if if he wins and Scott wins it'll set up a rematch from last night the slots of ring ball But not a particularly good layout from here. This probably be a place where he's going to try to play safe or duck. Very good competitor, this, this guy. He, he finished second in the Bob Stocks Memorial Nine Ball Tournament back in April at First Break Cafe in Sterling, Virginia. Excuse me. <coughs> mm. Might have left uh, Matt an opportunity here. That's a pretty good shot. The seven ball is a little. So play the seven in the side and roll up to the eight in the corner pocket. Very, very well done. That evens the count up at one apiece, uh, taking advantage of uh, a less than stellar safety from Brian to even the count at a game apiece. This is nine ball, race to seven. Loser of this match is eliminated fifth, sixth place. The winner is guaranteed fourth and still climbing up the loser's side. And uh, we'll play the We'll play the survival between Wilkie and Scott Roberts next. Matt comes up dry on the break and uh, leaves leaves uh, Brian a, a pretty a pretty good starter on the one. The two balls submerge behind the six, which is only really available in the lower right-hand corner pocket, as you, as you see it on the screen.
Let's see what Shot Brian comes up with here. That isn't quite what he wanted. He kind of flipped his hand. The two on, left on the winner's side include, include Chris Bruner and, and uh, Christina uh, Chalk. Might have. Might not have left much. It's hard to say. He might have a shot at the two in the side pocket. No, but he, he had a, enough of it to hit it and roll him on top of the uh, eight ball. I don't know if he can reach it and get much on it from there. Bridging over top the three five. We only play cue ball fouls only. That might just be just enough. Uh, that they might cover that two ball just enough that. That pesky four ball. Three doesn't go past the five either, I don't think. So, we're going to probably see a duck back. This looks like a, a very nice potential safety. I'm playing high left and or center left and coming behind the three five and banking the two up table. Pretty good shot. A side pocket might have him off the second rail. Like I said. I've been I've been around the game for about fifty-six years now. And uh, I, I've seen a lot. So Brian has, has a good opportunity here to, uh, to do something real nice with the, this game. Must, a 3-5 must be a pretty, a pretty tender morsel for him to play shape to it like that with ball in hand. Oh, that was a that was a sweetheart kiss. And he's on his uh, side of the table. He doesn't have to stretch for this ball. He's he can just stand there and shoot it normally and play 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 position on the four eight. He has a variety of options here, all of them fairly attractive. Yeah, he, he wasn't necessarily happy with that. He's farther away from this ball than he might have liked. But the good thing is, is his cue ball is headed in the correct direction after he pockets the four, the four or eight. Yeah, that, that looks ideal to me. 
in all probability two cushions. Nice tournament there, Thomas. Well, we're watching. We're watching the Haas clan as they're 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 going up back to PA. Thomas got seventh and eighth in his his dad got nine twelve, uh, and uh, always nice to see those two folks at a tournament. They're good people. Mr. Brian Bryant takes a two game to one lead in this match and so far the breaker has lost all three of the games. The guy that broke the balls. Uh, we're here at uh, the Champion Billiard Sports Cafe uh, in uh, just west of, uh, south of Frederick, Maryland, south and east. Um, along Bucky's Town Pike, uh, Maryland 85, about three miles from the I-70 uh, split, and uh, this uh, this uh, champion billiards here has been hosting events, on tours for a good many years, and uh, food here is excellent. They have. Uh, it's real, real uh, classy and first-rate looking in all respects. Uh, they have live music and bands here on the weekends. And a uh, nice place to come and have a good time. And uh, if you want to shoot some pool or do, do whatever you want to do here, you can do it. Okay, Brian has, has slotted a, a couple of balls. I don't know what the seven has done to him on this one, but he might have an opportunity. From, from the look of it, he's gonna roll him on top of the seven which is a very, very prudent play. I, don't, I think he's totally cut off the side rails for, from him too. I don't think he can get to, he might have to two rail and hit this ball going past the seven the way he's facing. He might have to masse it past the seven this way. Well, he did better than that. He makes the ball. Yeah. Well, can't. Todd Steele, table 10. Todd, table 10. Might be, might be playing safe here from the looks of. Trying to free the three ball a little bit so he can play for the three, four, nine. I'd have to send the five ball into the four. I wouldn't even wouldn't even risk a kick at this two ball in this spot unless he's got a sure fire hit on it. But it's his shot at in George's. But I I'm sweating. I'm sweating Brian in the Calcutta, needless to say, uh, I want success. Oh, he, he hits it good and gets, gives him even better than ball in hand position. That was a gallon hit, but Matt has to be able to get the correct shot. And,
That was good shot. A lot, of, a lot of people that don't know would have played that ball in the in the side pocket and been scratching their head on the three ball. But now he's got a real good opportunity to. To be on the four nine. Oh, well, he left it short. Oh, how sweet it is for Uncle George. All right. I'll accept this one all day long. Keep my man in this tournament. Because the other Lynchburg boy might be in trouble over there against Wilkie, who had a very bad match, his last match with Bruner. Now well, that's that's that part's okay. We'll take it. <laughs> Brian takes a three to one lead. He looks at me, kind of gives me a kind of a, a look and then just keeps walking. He impressed me mightily when he played down there in, uh, uh, at Sterling uh, a few months ago. And um, I always play him and his uh, his man Scott in the Calcutta all, almost all the time when they come to the tournaments. These guys are very, very good, good players. They play hard every shot. And, uh, These rails are real fast on this table. Well, Brian can hit the ball anyway, and he can he can definitely make a move from here. That's 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 going to be better than having a kick at it. Does have some purple to uh, to strike at. Got to watch the one rail scratch. Got to hit the ball pretty thin. And just speed to come back to where his cue ball is now, roughly. If he doesn't have it to shoot direct. Hard for me to tell either on the TV monitor or my vantage point what, what Brian actually sees. And that's my disclaimer. Gave it right back. He had, he had a clear shot at it. Got to shoot it. Just didn't make it. Might need it. He can reach us. Almost has to hit the nine. That one rolled good.
Matt Craw wins game number five and trails three games to two. Real solidly hit break there. All these balls are going in. If he has a shot on the two, he's in. Matt's going to take a look at it from behind there. You know, he's seeing whether Matt kind of nodded his head and sat down. He must have the shot and a natural shape to come from the two to the three. If that's the, if, if Matt's expression is the answer. Is that? Like I said, it's that's ideal there. That's perfect. He gets the he gets the float around two rails, go between the six and seven, and gets straight in on the six. This is looking pretty good. I oh, don't hit the seven. Oh, don't hit the. I was gonna roll him up on top of the nine. Can't, can't even bother unless that ball goes. That wasn't that good. Mm. The ball came out flat. Sometimes the balls don't stay loyal to you for long, as N. Cardona says many times. This might be a, a, a kick safe and cue ball behind the 7-9 if you can't hit it. Uh, he had it. He can hit it. Dead bang sell out. Hmm. Well, this ain't ever easy. Especially when we get down near the end. He, he hung that 4 9 combo. It was, looked like it might have been a good sign, but. Three games apiece.
Mac back on serve. We're sponsored by Predator Cues and Predator Products. They make more than just high tech cues and shafts, they make balls, gloves, cloth. Almost anything and everything for billiards. They sponsor lots and lots of uh, uh, pros uh, on, on tours, and uh, they sponsor lots of events in uh, our great sport. Thanks a million to Predator, a true giant in our industry. Oh, like I said, the balls don't stay loyal for long. <coughs> that ball's in there deep. I don't know how that ball didn't go down. This is, that went from bad to worse there. It would have been much better if he didn't make that ball. Because this shot on the tube ball looks like it's really not available and the four ball has got him in a, a true, a true bind. He's going to send another ball in it. We're going to have some moves here. This ball. Ball in hand. That's foul number one for, uh, for, for Brian. He's coming back out in the way, and this is going way up table. Put it right on the two nine. That's that's a that's a tough one. In a lot of ways, I almost have to just splash these balls around and let Matt do what he's going to do. He's gonna try to kick the two out of there with the eight. Oh, he hits, oh, and he scratches. Mm. Brian is on two fouls. Three consecutive fouls by the same player in the same game constitutes loss of game. On the action tour, the nine doesn't count on, uh-oh, he looks like he's gonna to try to do him dirty right here, try to Put him on top of the four eight and leave the let the five hide him. That was that was horrifically yeah. bad. That was You're that was two, just like case. dogging a nine ball there. That was that was truly <laughs> substandard for a player <laughs> of uh, He said fast that way, slow that way. Uh, this is non directional cloth, uh, it's supposed to be the same speed in all directions. He's on two fouls. He makes the two in the side, and he has, has shape on the three. <laughs> this, this, game is, this game is like a comedy of errors. He might be just going to go up table with his three, play safe. Didn't help himself with that. 
neat and funky layout to be sure here, folks. <laughs> oh. This might be a, a, a Karen play on the six and uh, come off make it real first and after he hits the four a little draw, a little right hand English maybe and then we'll play safe. Either way it's uh, a lot of good arguments for either either selection. He's reaching. Awkward sort of little shot here. <laughs> he hit the ball good. Side pocket might be in his in his kick soon uh, to come and hit the four off the side rail. He's got to go past, just past the side. I got him coming in short. This one, he might catch a piece of the five. No good. Total sold out there. He might, might, might have just got just enough to get to the eight ball. High right ball. You heard me rooting. I was rooting tooting that time. Four games to three in favor of Brian Bryant. The other way too, yeah. Well, that was an Alfred Hitchcock ending from the word go, a surprise ending, the, uh, the, the twist at the end uh, that nobody saw coming. That was a huge game there. Brian has gotten two recipient of that 4-9 and that bizarre scratch. Need Brian to run a nice rack of balls here and uh, and get a little cushion again. Yeah, I'm I'm partisan. I'm this is my man in the Calcutta that I'm rooting for. So that's life on the bricks, babies. Oh, you got kicked in. Well, this is uh this, rag, this match is taking twists and turns, that's for sure. The six and seven are both in 
in real, real grimy looking positions, especially the six. Matt's kind of shaking his head, looking at, the, he actually might be, might even have a half a shot at playing the nine. I half like, I half like him playing the nine. He's gonna, look at what he's doing here. He's going to have to play these fairly precise the way the six and seven is laying. Short there, he's gonna have to go up table a ways. Here's the shot right here. He might come off the point. shot. This is a, a good out if it gets out. Beautiful. He's been one of the better regional players in this mid-Atlantic region for a while, Matt Craw. Also a weekend warrior, but he is at, a, at the professional. Ooh, he almost bobbled that ball. F four games apiece. Four games apiece. Other sponsors of the Action Tour include Kamui Tips, Chalk Products. They, they make products that the players love worldwide. The players swear by their tips and their chalk especially. Uh, we also have uh, diamond uh, tables and make eight, nine, seven, ten foot tables. That one spun against the grain. Big game here. We're starting to get into the later stretches of this match. Four games apiece. <laughs> Brian doesn't have any real escape. Unless he can come, come to that lane right there. What he's got going for him is very fast rails. He has to hit this ball thin and hit this real precise to get three rails to the two. I hit the four, that was the danger. But he's got to play safe. Uh, looks like he's got a good ball to hide behind that five up top in that corner pocket. Or he can come around and use all the balls. Uh, he, he sold out. That's might have been a little close to the rail, the two ball. Hard to say.
was good news and bad news. Uh, the good news was he fell in a three well, but he tied up to six, seven. It might be a combination from the short side. That's hard to say. But it looks like the three is open and the four is uh, out, out in the clear. Might be a play to the short side, uh, but he's got to get through the eight. He can hit this ball a little higher with uh, lots of left-hand English, about eight o'clock or so, and he might get past the eight. It's going into him. This is. Looking like a lockdown behind the nine. Unless it goes. Good shot. Matt Craw takes the lead back at five games to four. Ryan needs a good break shot here, a nice rack of balls, and get back one with the mark. He Makes the one in the side. Kind of hit those balls, kind of like he hit a wet newspaper. But he made the one in the side, has a shot on the two. And he's not, not doesn't have the greatest layout in the world, but it's, it's, it's at least a, a possibility. Might be banking this ball. No. That looks ideal. Just has to get the correct shot on the four ball from to the five and shouldn't be too hard. I let his stroke out on that one a little bit. Now he's gonna should get a line of sight on this. Running in the balls. 
This is this is a monster game here. He can cut this in and, and hit the seven and stay put. That's his out. Got to cut cut this ball real real sharply with lots of high left English and run into the seven ball and, and have the seven ball hold him there coming off the rail. That's the only shot I could visualize from here. Lots of high left, as much high left as he can muster. So he can skip the ball and, and hook it into that path. Hmm. Might be playing safe behind the seven. This can be jumped. Now he's got to put him behind the six nine. There's no. This ain't rocket science. The danger is, is that he might not make a rail. Unless it's six or nine hits the rail. That's he's got to play into the six nine. He doesn't even have a play at anything else. Not this. That's terrible. That's the world's worst. Didn't even see it. I don't think the six nine. He's he's duck soup from here. He ain't gonna like this. Left the bank. Left the out. And the safety on the miss. Man, what a shot. Mm. It was a two-way shot. He had three-way shot. He had the ball, the safe, and the position. That's my Calcutta money is starting to grow wings. Oh. Ooh, he like the ball, that ball. Really put the... These boys from Lynchburg might be heading out the door at about the same time here. Ryan plays hard every shot. That just it's just it's a tough guy here. That was some shot in the side pocket. Yeah, he's got to dodge the bullet. Have to make the most of his turn, win this game, get back to the table. Break in, in, in his game and keep Uncle George breathing here. safety plays cost him in this match he's had two 
balls just given to him basically a scratch and then that combination that was a real mystery. Yeah, this is how it's going to go. Not looking good. Might be coming around for the side pocket, left hand English. Looks like it's all over but the shouting. That's it. Matt Craw takes down Brian Bryant by the score of seven games to four. And uh, Brian Bryant ties with his road dog, uh, Scott Roberts, in fifth, sixth place. Matt Craw is, uh, is going to be on uh, the table playing Sean Wilkie um, in the third, fourth spot. And, uh, we're going to have... Christina and, uh, and and Chris playing in the, uh, the hot seat match coming up in a few minutes. <laughs> 